everyone, I'm Keychain. Um, this is for the live test server, and these are going to be some of the biggest fights in the history of Guns of Glory. Because this test server, everybody's at the center, it's like one massive KVK with all of the people in the test server. So I doubt there'll be battles of this scale again for a long time. All right, getting chat up. And let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. So. I've got eight minutes. Is my timer off? Okay. Uh, did I get the videos this morning? Um, I didn't even look. Google um, Google's uh, blocked at work for me. And then I was really busy today trying to get a lot of work done so I could come home early for this. So I will check after this and let you know for sure. I'm at almost 3 billion power on the test server because they've been giving us 10,000 training speed ups every day, which is awesome. Oh, I need my tablet too. So, we're waiting on this timer. Um, <laughs> this is going to be crazy, but watch this. So, yeah, they gave us, so every day they give us 10K speed ups and like, I don't know, 5 billion resources. Um, let me show you one of the, one of the system messages. So this is what we're getting every day. 10K one hour speed ups, um, the uncharted speed ups, we were getting, see the 75,000 of the 10K foods and the wood and silver, like, and 30K of the five minute speed ups. So it was a lot. So I was just speed training and getting as many troops as I could. So starting to look at this, like, look at the amount of castles on the outside of this. Like I'm sure it's gonna be laggy and we'll probably crash a few times. But look at just the massive amount of castles surrounding the center. Like it just goes on and on. All of these different kingdoms. Like this is why this is gonna be the biggest battle in the history of Guns of Glory. And the other thing that's great about it is that no matter what we do, none of this counts on the on the main server so nobody cares about their troop loss here like they can get zeroed all they want and you know it doesn't affect them the other thing that uh would be good if you guys have kingdom raid i think that it's going to be a really good time to go raiding because people might forget to shield their main accounts so that's just one half of it like let me go look at the other side so there's more this way um, everybody's trying to get as close as they can to the center. And there's just massive amounts of castles. This is us over here. So we're going to have Dark Mystic leading our Megas and Ultras. So it's going to be pretty good. And the sharing coordinates. So I wonder if some fighting started already. I think people are going to... Who's in here? So they're trying to break our towers um, to stop us from from being able to attack the center. I don't know who this guy is, but let's get in there. 
and see the lag starting. And my my chat's not coming across onto the YouTube chat. I wonder if there's a delay, but I saw some. Okay, so something happened here. I think that's still our territory, but it's hard to tell. This is ultra garrisoned. And the lag is getting pretty bad. I think this is our first disconnect. Nope, okay. So that's ultra garrison by them. I don't know what's going on with this second tower. It's being demolished, but it won't let us defend it. But I think that our territory is still touching the center. And let's get in here. So we've got two minutes until it starts. Uh, I'm guessing that Dark's going to speed in there first, and we're going to have to speed in and rain. So I'm planning to speed in here immediately. Um, oh, Ultra Garrison. So let me show you this. Um, Ultra Garrison is new in here, but in the Alliance research, there is an Ultra Rally and Ultra Garrison. Um, and basically, you get a certain amount of them, and the deputy effect goes up to, I think, 5%. So what you can do in the Ultra Rally is you get your Ultra Rally leader, and then they pick two lieutenants, and 5% of each lieutenant stats go into the Ultra Rally so that um, you end up with even higher stats. Uh, so there's now ultra rallies and ultra garrisons inside of here, which brings a whole new level to it. So you need to have three people that are really strong rather than just one who's really strong. Um, otherwise, are we allowed to rain this? Um, so it won't let me rain this because it doesn't border my territory, which I think is a bug because... I'm right here. So somehow they're able to attack our towers over here, but we're not allowed to defend them. But then this one right here looks like it's built and garrisoned. I don't know. There's lots of bugs on the test server. Hopefully they fix them. I think part of the problem could be that... Um, uh, I don't actually know how to activate an ultra... I haven't figured that part out yet, so hopefully um, maybe I can look for it while we're in here. But I've only seen the Mega. I wonder if it's only R5s or something that can Ultra or... Because I was an R4 before and I couldn't, I couldn't Ultra. So we're going to increase this. We're going with the Colossal March capacity for this one because why not? More lag. I think it's about to open and everything is going to crash. Okay, here goes. We have to attack the pirates first. So as soon as it's available... So everyone's saying change castles to regular instead of um, instead of the uh, special, so we can see if that works. <laughs> Lagging like a Macintosh ninety nine. Oh gosh, come on! I will definitely use the half hour boost if. It will let me play the game. Okay, so... <laughs> it 
it this is rough. Their servers can't handle this. And it's giving me a bug that the territory doesn't border mine. I don't know if I'm even going to be allowed to go into the center in the area that I'm in. So my territory doesn't border this, but it does. So that's frustrating. Man, well, I want to showcase the best, biggest battles in the history of Guns of Glory, but the game doesn't really want me to do that. Oh man, come on. I know that nobody wants to watch loading screens back and forth all day. Okay. Can we attack? See if it allows us get any attack in. Still no. Um, okay, so we're just going to watch this die since it won't let us attack. Um, we've got towers right here. I wonder if we're disconnected somewhere farther back. So it looks like our territory is not actually connected somewhere farther back. So this is going to take some time for us to even be able to fight. Yeah, it's so we're disconnected back here. So that's garrisoned. Um, I don't see a tower in here. trying to rebuild but to connect us back up well I'm not going to be able to showcase much of the best biggest battles in Guns of Glory history if we're not participating we had a big fight and don't have resources to rebuild it so they don't we don't have the resources to rebuild the towers Um, well, let's see. We, it looks like we have, re oh, they don't have enough silver. So here we don't have enough silver. Um, placing a fortress costs more resources than we have. And because our territory is disconnected from our main fortress, it doesn't count. So see how it's all grayed out? So the territory we have, it's all over here, it doesn't count. So right now, we don't have anything connected to the middle. So look at how many people are attacking the center right now, and we cannot participate. So it's about to die, and then the Megas and the Ultras and all that are going to start. But look, this is just crazy. Like, look at the amount of lines going into the center. It'll slow down a little bit after this. Actually, it probably won't. Everyone's going to be speeding in there. There's going to be hundreds of solos hitting and hitting and until someone gets in there and creates a Mega Garrison, which we can't participate in. So... We're going to have to rebuild somewhere back here. This looks like, who's OFG? 
Is that these guys? Yeah. And there's too many troops in here for me to kill. Oh, there is an ultra rally right there. 5,000. Well, I'm trying to launch a mega. I don't, I mean, I probably don't have the biggest stats for this. And I can't because our territory doesn't border it. So we have to go even farther back. Where does our territory actually... Oh my gosh. Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm super disappointed right now that we can't participate in this. I don't know how long the fight is going to go. Um, let's see what the timer is on it. So it says the stage ends in two hours. Um, the server can't handle the amount of attacks happening on the center. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, we should have been... The, the problem that I had with this is I just switched to the Alliance... And there's the first crash. Um, I just switched to this alliance for this um, this big battle in the middle. So I have no control over getting towers onto additional resources and building extra towers and stuff. Because I'm not an R4 over here. Um, I have no real say in it. But yeah, being out of resources has happened. It happened in our other alliance. Um, we were out of food. We were short on food. So I went and got us. I built like 10 towers in safe areas that got extra food notes for us. And then we were good from there on out. But this one, it looks like we're short on um, alliance silver. So the alliance that knocked us out of here... Um, or broke our territory was smart because now we can't even fight them for the center. And it's not like it can do much anyways with the amount of lag on here. This is just crazy. So this might end up being a bust of a live stream. Okay, hey, we loaded. It only took like what, 45 seconds. Now let's load out into the map. And again, we need to go look backwards and see. And they're demolishing us right here. Can I even attack this? Looks like it's already demoed. Two point two billion, so I can't solo him. 
I uh, hope that the dark attacking him. Nope, he was able to attack the center from where he's at. Because they have connecting territories. So we just, we don't have enough resources to rebuild. We've got blocked by two alliances. So we cannot reestablish our territory. Well, let's see if it'll let me see the center, and then I can at least watch that for a minute. So OFG is the ones that uh, blocked us, and they're winning the center. Hope they get knocked out of there. So if anybody just joined, um, our kingdom, Kingdom 1, is not going to be able to participate because our territory is disconnected. So some alliances went around behind and disconnected our territory here and up here. So because we don't have a fort on this side or connected to this territory, because we don't have enough resources, all of this territory that we're in right here is um, not actually connected. So we can't attack. So it's only these two kingdoms, blue and green, so kingdom two and three that are able to attack the center. They stopped purple from getting there, which is Kingdom 4, and they stopped us from getting there. But Kingdom 4 looks like they were participating in blocking us out over here with OFG, and they got themselves blocked out by us, it looks like, on this side. So the north side, we took from Kingdom 4, so they went around and cut us off. And now we can't do anything. So you can see that there's strategy beyond just getting to the center. You have to keep track of your towers. Um, and that means that you're going to need people online that can defend. So these guys, Kingdom 2, built an alliance fortress and garrisoned it right on top of this bridge. So we'd have to take the bridge back to get across. Not only do we have to take the bridge back, then we have to build towers. We'd have to kill their garrison, build towers to reconnect to this one, this one. These two are disconnected. We just don't have the resources for it. So, sorry there's not going to be as much of a show as you wanted or I was expecting. I'll still look at the center, but we won't be involved in any megas or ultras, and these other two alliances are going to they're going to win because we don't even have a chance at it. Our resource production looks like if it'll load the resource nodes. So see how the resources at the top of the screen right now are alliance resources. So we've got plenty of wood, uh, but no silver. And the silver is only coming in at like 4,000 an hour. And I think we need 24,000 for a fortress. So we'd have to sit for four hours. Um, either that or we need to go and build towers all over the place in silver and try and get like 20 or 30 silver notes to boost our productions through the roof to then try and 
get it done in the next half hour, 45 minutes. But I don't think I'm an R4 in this alliance. Yeah, I'm not an R4. Matthew is. Uh, I'm not even going to type this out. It's, I think it's pointless. Well, you can see lots happening, but we get zero battle reports. Um, I wish that we could donate silver or get it in another way, because right now just can't can't do anything. One, it's so laggy. Two. We don't have the resources to even rebuild our towers. So, OFG. Did the right thing, like they did the right strategic move, and I can't even see what we're trying to do over here. Looks like we're trying to do some type of fighting back. We're demolishing their fort. So we're going to try and fight back. I can't even use speed ups. Oh man. This is so horrible. Like this, every time I use a speed up, it lags for like five seconds. Guns of Glory servers, really high quality. Hey, looks like we're going to get in there. Let's get some action. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked that. I want to see the messages, but I shouldn't have clicked it. You know, the other funny part is they're not even at work right now. Like, they scheduled this at a time that they're not even in the office yet. It's like 5 in the morning in China. Trying to click the building to see if I can see the demolish time.
So not much of a destruction time. So this is going down fast. So two minutes, we'll have destroyed that. And they're talking about, we're getting towers ready at this bridge. So we're going to kill this garrison. And we're going to put towers here. We're going to reconnect to our territory, which... I don't see where exactly that's going to happen. But we're going to work on it. So they want us to check the map, see where the connection's lost. There's quite a few spots. Okay, we're fighting. Not going to be super exciting yet, but we're fighting. We're giving it our all. This is going to be down in a second, and once once this is down, we need two towers to connect from the bridge back to um, back to our towers. So we need two, and then we're going to need two more in between there and the center. So the other thing that people are asking is to dump our castle skins off. Doing any, anything we can to reduce lag at this point. So now I have a basic castle again. Okay, now we can rebuild our towers. And I can't build towers, so I can't assist with this part. I don't know why that's over there, but let's go with it. Doing my best to, um, I'm not doing a very good job at talking right now. I'm just trying to think of what we need to do here and deal with the lag. Like it's hard to talk through five seconds of lag every time I try and take an action. hoping we can get this done and actually fight for the center because Dark will win. Like, he will beat these other guys. And it would be really nice to prove that he's the strongest. All right. Um... And we're building. I don't know if I made it into the building or not. If I didn't make it into this one as well, I'm going to wait until they're closer. Because I'm using 50% speed ups, and if I'm still not making it into the actual construction, then, you know, I'm just wasting them. Somebody's attacking. I think they're zeroing the guy that was over here. Um, there's a tower over here. Can't tell if people are actually getting into the tower or if the tower is actually being built. People are speeding stuff in there. I'm constructing. Look, I made it. Okay, let's see if it'll let me view the timer without breaking the game. 
20 seconds. So after this one, we can take out this tower of theirs and put another one of ours in. And then we've got, we're going to need to connect to this. This is a big chunk of our territory. So once we reconnect there, it'll help a lot. So we're garrisoned now, which means we can demolish here. I'm sending a march without my airship, so it'll probably die, but it'll soften it up for um, for other people coming in behind me. If it's garrisoned. I didn't look if it's garrisoned, but I assume that it is. There's other people closer, so Mango probably already killed anything that was in there. Yeah, it's not garrisoned. So this is going to get torn down. We're going to build another tower basically right where theirs is. One more somewhere in here, and that'll reconnect us all the way down through here we're going to need one in here and then after that we still need one more so we need one here and because these are so close but not touching we're going to need one more so hopefully we have enough resources we've still got a little bit till the center is conquered not all the other apps on my computer um, demolish time is wait for it three seconds so once that's down we can build a tower there Once the game registers, it's been more than three seconds. I don't know what this is marching to. Okay, so now we need another tower. Dark's here. The lag getting a little bit better. Like I seem to be able to click a little bit better. Nope, I lied. <laughs> So no more, like it's going to be hard to check reports when we do the megas and stuff too because of the extreme amount of lag when I try and check my mail. Like I want to get the red dots out. Okay, that part's done. Loading, we're constructing here. As soon as that's done, we need another tower here. I don't know how many resources we have left. I'll go check and see how many resources we have. I don't know how much a tower takes. We have 8.5k, so towers can't take that much. Maybe a thousand? Because we had 10.5k when we started and we've built two towers. So they're rebuilding this one. Okay, so that one's done. Now we need one here. 
There it is. I don't think I'll make it in time, but I'll try anyways. So I can say I was helping. Uh, the other bug that they have in here is 25% speedups don't work. Like I've tried a few times, um, they just don't work. So I'm in constructing, that's going to reconnect here, all the way down to here. We're getting so close to getting back in this. Gone on live talking about strategy in the event. He does no clue what he's doing. Oh, <laughs> well, I've got no comment for that. So are we already done constructing up here? That constructed fast. So it switched to garrisons. We're back. Now we've got another tower going up here. That's reconnecting. Here's the struggle. I mean, like, the other thing that we got to do is looking at the map, we have to make sure nobody's able to cut us off again. So not only do we need to reconnect our territory, once we get up here, we need to break some of their towers. So once we reconnect here, I think we need a tower right in the center. Let me see if my mouse is working. Okay, my mouse is working. So we need a tower somewhere in here so that we can break theirs and cut them off from being able to attack us again and put some towers here to stop them from being able to come in. Because at any point, they're only going to need um, to mega garrison a tower um, with one of their bigs and knock down what we're doing and, and cut us off again. So hopefully someone else is on board with me on that and they think the same. Some of the fights that we were having earlier on in this test server um, were pretty crazy with, like we would be building like six towers at once in an area and we'd be demolishing and building and you know, you'd have everybody in different towers and just trying to keep our towers up while we're demolishing theirs. And it was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so we got our own server, or our own castle. We basically, we got a one-time use code from our castle and it copied our castle over. So, um, once we cast, once we copied our own castle over, so they're ultra garrisoned here. But Dark is going to smash that. Dark doesn't care about Ultra Garrisons. But I don't know who's in there. It might be Chris, which means we are going to need some. So they're trying to demolish us here. Hey, Tom. I'm going to try and get an attack in here and help defend this, if I can, if it'll let me. Um, hey, Ricky. Ultra Garrison is um, it's basically you get to pick two lieutenants, and it takes 5% of their stats and adds it to the garrison or to the garrison or the rally. So there's Ultra Garrisons and Ultra Rallies. So... It's basically an extra souped-up mega rally that costs 5,000 gold. Um, same thing with the garrison, 5,000 gold. So if you have three really strong people and their stats all add together, it's it's going to make it so that one powerful player can't take a bunch of hot garbage paper castles with him and win. He's going to need other people that are actually strong. Okay, now... That guy pulled out. I want to see what he's got. So there are people trying to break us still while we're trying to rebuild. They don't want us to reconnect because 
they know that we're going to take that center as soon as we do. So she's 2.4 billion, so I won't be able to fight her off by myself. We've got to watch and make sure they don't try and build a tower here to connect. Like, we should probably go cut them off ourselves. Like, somebody should work on cutting them off while we're megating the middle. Yeah, it's supposed to go for seven weeks. I think that when there's regular kingdoms against regular kingdoms, it's going to be a lot less intense. But right now, I mean, you're combining the top players from 50 different kingdoms into one, and it's a lot more action-packed than, um, than normal. The W land not available icon. Yeah, <laughs> that bothers me too. It's like my internet works just fine. It's the game. There should be some other error message for that. So I'm repairing the tower here. Um, we're demolishing OFG there. We need to build another tower as soon as this one's done. And then we're going to start demolishing all of their towers. And we need to start pushing them back and give ourselves a little bit of a um, buffer. So repairing takes a while as well. So after they start demolishing, um, it takes a while to repair because the building is currently burning and cannot be repaired. So I have to sit in here until the burn finishes, which is like two minutes, and then the repairing can start. Okay, so burning time remaining is two more minutes, and then we can repair the damage that was done. And honestly, there's this tower was close to dying. Like, the towers die so fast. It's really hard to to defend them all, especially if you're not right there. Because it only takes a minute or two to tear a tower down. And all of these people right here are safe, but if we can break their towers, Dark is going to zero all of them. Like, he's not happy. <laughs> So we're demolishing that. Let's look at the timer on this one that's demolishing. Thought equals sauce building. Here, 517. Uh, my, my kingdom is uh, 524. Oh, the test server won't load? Like, yeah, it takes a while. Um, some things, it won't even let me click this building. Um, I think it's done demolishing. It just hasn't caught up. So I'm guessing that we're going to get another disconnect in a minute here. And now I need to, I also want to check on our resources. So did OFG knock us out of the tower? Um, also, we we're down to 3.7k. So the actual troop loss in the event, when you are on resource tiles or in buildings, um, there's no troop loss. When you're attacking other castles, which I think is broken, it's advertised as a very low real death rate. But when I attacked another castle, it was full death rate. Um, it was equivalent to my um, my battlefield treatment, which I had at like 40%, and I lost everything else. So that part's not working right. So hopefully they fix that piece. Um, but 
if I were going to look at what they consider a very low death rate, I would say less than 5% based on when they say very low chance for loot boxes and for the drop rate of things like castle skins, you know they're not giving us 10% when they say very low. Um, it's, you know, a couple of percent. So I'm, uh, I'm thinking very low troop loss inside this event, which is good. And if, you're, if your castle is attacked on defense, you don't lose anything. So everything goes into the hospital. So if you forget and you leave your castle out there and you get zeroed, you're still going to be able to um, heal up. It's just going to take a while. So here, see what we're doing here? We're building another tower here so that it's connected to this territory. And then we'll be able to attack two different zones because right now they were really trying to, f to save this. It looks like we won that. They were trying to speed in and stop it. So now we need to attack that. I'm still up here repairing this which they won't be able to attack again because they don't have a connecting territory. And we're going to check and see. Okay, so it's repaired. It's back to full. We just need the game to register that. So I'm going to call back. I need my airship if I'm going to attack um, anywhere else. What happened? I had a crash. Oh, that sucks. Uh, kingdom on the test server on, in Kingdom 1. My main server kingdom is Kingdom 524. So, now we've got people attacking this garrison. I'm going to attack that as well. I don't have my airship back yet. I need my airship back before I can even think about attacking that. But someone else is demolishing it. Um, we probably need to place another tower somewhere over here so that we can start breaking their stronghold. But we're one or two towers from reconnecting and being safe. And these guys, as soon as these towers go down and they're not in their own territory, they better run. Let's see what they're linking to us. Building currently burning and cannot be repaired. So where is this? Way up top, how did they even... So they're still poking at us from the side. So yeah, we're gonna have to keep people in these, build in these towers and we're gonna have to make sure that they don't place towers. So we're demolishing here. That's going to give us room to build another tower. And then we can establish another link. We're getting close to being linked back up. I think our main territory is right here. Once we link up to this, we'll be able to attack the center. Um, to join the test server, they sent out a system mail in the regular game um, a couple of weeks ago. And they invited people, and you had to sign up. And then once we got here, um, if they selected you, you were um, sent a code that you could join the test server, download it, and then you were sent a code that would allow you to transfer your castle over. And that's uh, how I got mine. So it's kind of, it's selective. I think that they were after a lot of bigger players. So I think I've finally gotten big enough that I get invited to this stuff. Um, also, I kind of have a cheat because uh, I'm the brand ambassador for Guns of Glory. Um, and basically that means I have some, some special privileges and insights and stuff that, you know, I get information under NDA and stuff like that that I can't share. But they get me into the test servers based on that. So I do have some, some cheat codes. But eventually my ambassador contract will run out and then I will be just like everybody else unless they want to renew me, 
which would be nice, but you never know. So once we get in here, um, we'll be able to demolish this one and we'll come across and reconnect. So we'll probably demolish a few of these. We want to push them back and give ourselves some room. So we'll demolish anything that we can that's not connecting. So let's see. Give Diva R4 spawn, please. Um, so I put infantry in my cavalry march, um, my main one, because the infantry dies first. Um, so you don't do a lot, but in most of the newer marches, um, you do want some infantry in your march if you're using cavalry or distance. Uh, and you'll start to see that in the megas a lot, that they will send 10 or 20 percent infantry with the rest cavalry or distance. That works best with the newest new guards, um, but I have found some success with my older guards using this system still. So I was way too slow on this tower. I didn't even make it there in time. I forgot to speed it up. And as soon as it registers that I'm in there, I'll call it back and we'll get there. But Dark is tearing this all down. So my baby troops don't help that much. <laughs> so they're going to knock this one down, and then we will build another tower somewhere over here. Looks like we're building a tower here and here as well. So now we're really going to start pushing them back. So let's reinforce this. Um, I do have the two new guards, and I use them in, in a pure cav march. I should put some infantry in that, but I don't actually use these for attack marches right now. They're too weak. Um, I've tested them in, let's see, what if I mix distance in the Aramis slash and march? People did that. So they would use an and Aramis with, um, they wouldn't use them with full infantry. They would use like 20 or 30 percent infantry and the rest either distance or, cav or cavalry depending on their strongest stat so that was something that was being used for a while with all of the big players but then when the new blackbeard and jacquette came out they switched to distance and now that uh, laura and joan are out they use those for their main marches so they're using blackbeard and Jacquette when they're using distance and they're using Laura and um, Jean or Jean or however you say it with the cavalry. I don't know if I'll even get here before this finishes. So now we're double stacking towers here to create a buffer. Um, then we're going to knock this tower out. On the other side, we're going to knock the tower out probably build more towers. Once we get reconnected, we'll probably be probably build more towers to get extras in there so we have a little bit of a warning if people start doing stuff trying to knock us out of there. So there we're demolishing. Oh, you use 50 and 50? I mean, if it works for you, I've not seen that one specifically, but the marches that we were sending in um, N2, when N2 was leading were pretty close to that. He was sending 300,000 infantry and the rest cavalry or distance. And that was what he was asking for in the Megas. So for me at uh, 700 march cap, that's pretty close to 50-50. C44, I'm jealous. <laughs> How much, uh, what's your power? Are you one of those like 6 billion power awesome castles? So see here, Dark is zeroing this guy. So Jojo, 
JoJo was 2.2 billion power not too long ago. Now JoJo's dead. Because Dark is not happy. So he's killing everybody. Six point five bill, that's awesome. <laughs> Man, I well I don't think I'm ever gonna get there. I think the only way I'd get there is if they gave us the ten thousand speed ups um on the real server every day. And then I could make it. Okay, so we've got we need looks like two more towers to connect up. This one's gone, but see, it still registers as their territory. And we're so close. I wonder if we're low on resources now. I'm worried about that. We are. We're out of resources. So they went a little bit too aggressive on placing towers. And now we're out of resources again. Let's go check out what's happening in the middle and see if we're even going to have time to make it back. So the thing that I'm confused about is see how in the middle it says stage ends in an hour and 12 minutes. So normally this is you have to you have to control it um, for four hours straight or it's a longer thing like a mini KVK. So it's a challenge stage of 24 hours normally. And four consecutive hours wins it. But it's been shorter on all of the bridges and everything uh, on the test server, and it looks like only an hour and 12 minutes are left. So based on the occupational rankings, which haven't updated, um, unless that's uh, minutes, then we're not going to be able to win this unless we take it before the hour's up and hold it for the whole time. I mean, that's a good amount of resources. The amount of resources I have on the test server doesn't really count because they were giving us so much. Like, I could open up 5 billion resources of each type because they just gave us so much. They wanted us to fight. They wanted us to kill stuff. So who is this guy sitting in the middle of us? So now we're kind of stuck in a holding pattern until we get enough for, there's the silver mine. So the Alliance silver mine is going to help a lot. But we're going to have to build this and then we're going to have to put troops into it. So I actually want to send, I want to send my farmers in there with it because I can't do anything else like until we're gathering or until we're um, that's a lot of troop load how much does this thing gather so until we're um, have enough silver to actually build more towers we're kind of stuck We may get someone that had like 1 billion wood, 300 million iron last time. That's awesome. I, I like when that stuff happens. Like, um, it's been a while since I found one. I was hoping for a jackpot during my live kingdom raid, which I did not find. Um, yeah, and I always ask for, uh, oh, excuse me, I always ask for donations. <laughs> I get on the Discord and, and ask if anybody in the kingdoms we're facing wants to, um, load up a farm and give me resources, but uh, no one ever takes me up on that. I don't know why they don't want to give me free stuff. Uh, so, we're kind of just waiting right now. Um, we're kind of stuck again. Same, same kind of pattern we were in before is we're not connected. We're so close, 
but because we're um, because we're not connected, we can't do anything. So this Alliance Silver Mine, I believe that I believe that these ones give a bonus to the Alliance for everything we gather. And I swear I sent troops to this. Oh, I did. I forgot to speed them up. Well, we're two towers away, and it might end before we can even get there, which is super sad. Um, looking at our buildings, our resource nodes, um, we're getting 4.9k an hour. So we might have enough to build a tower in like 10 minutes, but we need two towers. So we need like 20 minutes to, to get there. And they're saying that the gathering won't help, but it will. Every little bit's going to help right now. If we can get to the center before the hour's up, then we have a chance to actually do some fighting. So we got eight minutes to make it in there. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I love everybody's support. I just try my best to um, be myself and... Uh, do what I love. Um, it's really exciting in this game because before this, in the other game I played, I played um, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and I would get like two views on videos. And I think one view, I got like 45 views, and I was super excited that I got 45 views. Um, and now it's like, you know, I can get up to 40 people during a live stream and get thousands of views in a couple of days, which is just crazy to me. So why did it send us away? Did they break the Alliance mine? I don't get why we broke the mine that was going to help us. Well, I don't know exactly what's happening here, but this one looks like the tower's gone, but the territory hasn't updated. We still need some silver. The silver mine would have helped us. I don't know why we broke it or pulled it. He's trying to get Tom Vapor online, but I don't know. Ooh. Let me see if I can message him. Okay, I'm over on my computer for a second trying to message Tom. Um, we're so close. Like, this is such a battle just to... We can't even fight. That's the frustrating part. And I think this is just a tad bit too wide for one tower to connect. So we need two towers. That's the part that, um... So I'll look again for all the people who are here who aren't in the test server. Um, look at all of the castles that are surrounding this center area. And this is why I put the title as like the biggest fight in Guns of Glory history because we're going to have 
some massive megas and huge fights. And then we found out we were cut off and we couldn't even participate. So we don't really get to fight against all these people. So just look at the massive, massive amount of castles that are surrounding the center area. Like, I was really expecting this to be just a bloodbath. Like, fighting to the death. Everybody running out of troops and just going crazy. Like, But the strategy rather than actually fight us and have fun, was to go around and cut us off. Because they didn't want to have to fight for it. They wanted to take the easy way out. So, good job to... Um, I don't remember what king of what kingdom... Kingdom 2 for, uh, you know, using some... You... Keep quiet over there while I'm bad mouthing Kingdom to you. Um, yeah, it's our fault not defending it, but it's the test server, so I don't know if we had enough people online to realize it was happening. I'm getting scouted. Should I put anti scout on? <laughs> No, I'll let her see what I have. I've got so many troops right now because of the test server. I wish I had this many on real server. So close. So close. I wonder when we can do another tower. My game's locked again. Well, we're up to 31 people, and we're kind of stuck in a holding pattern. Not a lot of action happening. If this ends and uh, nothing's happened, maybe I'll go over to live server and see if I can do some kingdom raid or, you know, try and make it exciting somehow. So we're down resources again, so we built another tower. Oh, that connects it. Okay, here we go. It's big enough. It connected. So this tower building gets us fights in the middle. So as soon as this is done, the action's going to start. If if we can ever send troops to it. That's a big if. But dark's right there, so dark probably put troops in there and... Um, so the, the way the troops work in here is, at least the way it's advertised, um, zero troop loss on tiles and towers and bridges, all that type stuff. Um, and then it's supposed to be a very low troop loss when attacking other lords' estates. Now right now that's broken because I attacked another lord and I took real troop loss. I took... I sent a march of 700,000 and I lost 460k. Uh, and that's equivalent to my um, battlefield treatment. So it was true troop loss. So that's the biggest bug that I found and they need to fix that. Um, otherwise it's, it's not gonna be good. Um, the other thing though is when you're defending, you have zero troop loss. So everything goes into the Uncharted Seas Hospital. Uh, it just takes a long time to heal it. So right now, it, it's in theory good, but until they actually get it fixed, um, you know, you're not going to want to attack other people. Now, the other thing is you can lose your resources in here. So for the people who do forget, like it's kind of like a mix of Kingdom Raid. Um, slash Darkland, slash Tides of Darkness. Like It's just kind of a hybrid event between a bunch of them. Um, so we'll see what happens. But that connects our territory. So as soon as that's done, no, it doesn't. We're still missing one. Uh, 
how did oh man okay so before previously we had towers in here these were our towers now they're not our towers anymore they moved in and built while we weren't able to defend them we were not able to defend the towers because they weren't connected and it looks like now so we're still not to get not going to get to fight in the middle i hadn't paid attention to that part so even though we're fixing this we're not going to be able to get to the middle before it's over because we need another tower here and then another tower here and then another tower here and then another tower here before we touch the center so four towers and the current rate of our silver gathering It'll take the full hour before it happens. Super, super disappointing. Yeah, sorry, what up? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to make it entertaining, but there wasn't anything that we could do this time, I guess. Like, once we lost the territory behind, we weren't even allowed to defend the territory up front that we had. I don't even know what they're attacking here. You guys can't even rally because it's freezing? Yeah, there's just... There's too many castles. So they made the test server a little bit too big because their servers can't handle it. It was fine before. Um, did I have anti on? It might have been uh, reflex. Hey, but since you're here, I can actually show you what I have. So here, I'm up. I've got four million infantry. 6.3 million cavalry, 5 million distance, and 7.1k artillery. Um, lots and lots of tier 12 that I never, I don't have anywhere near this amount of troops on the main server. Would be nice. I wish that, um, I really wish that I had this many troops on the, on the main server. But I don't. <laughs> I guess it helps when the test server gives you like 40,000 troop speed ups and 5 billion food. If, if only I could get them to give me that on the, on the live server. Oh man, if we could keep the troops here. I would love it if there's some type of bug that let me take this castle back to the main server. <laughs> like, oh, I grew 800 million overnight. No big deal. Don't worry about it. Oh man, you have 67 million troops. That's insane. Or 67 million food. I don't know which. But either way, like, I bet you have a ridiculous amount of troops at 6 billion power. Because I'm at 3 and I have 15 million, so I would guess that yeah, that's so OFG is still trying to get in here and prevent us from advancing. And this territory is bugged right here because there's no tower here. So it should be down to just this. So we've got to be watching all around us to make sure that they don't build towers while also trying to build to the center. Let's see what our resources are at. So now we're up to 618. So once we get back up to uh, some more silver, that'll help. So the other thing is like um, when you gather... 
like if I'm gathering inside the alliance territory, it gives a boost to our alliance gathering. So some of the people out here are gathering, which is good, but they also need to call that back. Oh my god, these guys talking crap. Because they didn't even have to fight him. They sh really shouldn't be talking crap when they didn't even have to fight. And they were out here destroying towers while Dark was uh, busy. They didn't try it when he was here. So Dark's in my kingdom. Um, so... I've known Dark for over a year now, and uh, I'm his number one fan. So, I mean, I don't like these guys talking crap about him, because it's not like they went one-on-one -on -one against him and actually fought him, you know. So we need another 10 minutes for tower <laughs> and then we can demolish some of their towers but then we need another 40 minutes until we can take this back and then the center is going to be gone and we will hope oh, the center is already gone so it ended even earlier than advertised so it won't be for 12 hours that it's vulnerable again um Woo. So now what? I mean, <laughs> there's not much left to do on the test server right now. Let's see. Is Bones here? I did want to test somebody hitting my castle to see how I stand up against someone with much bigger stats now. I wonder if there's an area down here that it'll let me port where I can go and fight. Go to dailies. I didn't see who said that, but I'm guessing it's Void. Void loves dailies. Oh no, there's what up again. Um, my dailies, they don't even reset for another 40 minutes. Like I was expecting this to be a longer battle. There's Ghost. Ghost. Let's test. No, that's all right. Like, people chatting actually gives me something to talk about or someone to talk to. Otherwise, I just talk to myself for 40 minutes or an hour or two hours. <laughs> So I like it when people chat because then, uh, then I'm not here just trying to think of stuff to say. Especially when there's nothing going on. Like, there's not really much going on right now. I don't know if he saw my message. Well, I don't know if they see my message. Ghost was supposed to test with me um, to hit my new, to hit my castle and see what happens. But now that I built another, I don't know, three million troops, <laughs> the test won't be as relevant. It won't be as uh, as real as. Um, Personally, I like cavalry, and that's because they're faster. Although, now that I'm adding infantry to it, that logic doesn't really matter anymore because distance marches and cavalry marches are going to be the same. Um, but I'm just kind of invested in cavalry so much that I can't ever change, so I think I'm just cavalry for life. 
unless they make an easy way for you to switch your um, honing, which I don't think they ever will. So we got reconnected over here, built another tower. That's how we're able to destroy theirs here. Or are they trying to build a new one? They might be trying to build a new one because I don't think we have enough resources yet. Hey Maya, welcome. Um, it's super laggy, huh? Like it's hard to, it's hard to do anything. Let's see. Do I have to king speaker to get their attention? So I want to port somewhere and have him hit my castle so that we can test my new huge amount of troops and see how many hits I can take. I need to find a spot that doesn't have territory that will let me port. Perfect. I, I don't want dark to hit me. That's a little too much. Then it'll make me feel like my wall is just useless. I hope Ghost checks this. Or I'll just put my cords here and see if somebody else wants to hit me. Am I in the right spec? I mean, you can sign on. You see that you see my coordinates. Get on there and uh, and send a march. So it's at what nine two three ten twenty five. Yeah. So the kingdom mergers. I don't know how they're gonna do it. Um, there's rumors it was going to be tied to this. There's rumors that it was going to be based on the star system because that's how Kings of Avalon did it. Um, I don't know how they're going to do it now. Um, so we'll have to just wait and see. I would prefer them to do it the way they did it in Kings of Avalon where there's a star cap um, and say they made the cap 20 stars. Like you can absorb up to four kingdoms or five kingdoms and you can't go over 20 stars. Like that would make it so like four or five star kingdoms could go together and make a strong kingdom um, or a big kingdom like five two four, who has 14 stars could take, you know, a three star and, you know, two, two stars or something like that. So I think that would be a way to keep smaller kingdoms, kind of alive um, especially if like say the top kingdom can only absorb a one star and then three zero stars I'm like okay so some lucky kingdoms are going to get absorbed into the biggest strongest star kingdoms so I hope that they take that route um, but we don't know what they're going to do so I need to message ghost and tell him where I'm at or have him check the stream. Uh, and then after this, I think um, we'll just end it because it's about dinner time. So I want someone to come and hit me. I want to test this. And I need my own coordinates. So 922-1024. Oh, 
Whoop, I don't want a king speaker that one. So I just want somebody to hit me. I want to see what happens. I want to see how my stack does. So maybe posting it there will get somebody to hit me. Even if it's someone massive like Chris or Luca, then I could compare it to the hit that Luca did on me um, a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> C20 hits me, probably. I'm waiting for uh, Maya said she's going to jump on and hit me. So nobody saw my coordinates and cared? It's so sad. Am I allowed to attack that? Probably not because they're in a territory. <laughs> a C20 that would wreck me, that would be, that would make me really sad. But it's possible. Like, if a major spender just like spent all their money on stats, I bet you, well, I don't know, though, because a C20 would only have, what, tier 8s? Or is that only tier 7s? For, so 35 is tier 11, 30 is tier 10, 26, 20. I think, it, I don't know if it's tier 8s or tier 7s. Um, I, I would have to quit if a C20, even a C20 with 30k stats, I don't know how tier 8s would do against, against tier 12s. Uh, let's see. Nobody wants to hit my castle. So, okay, I guess we are going to King Speaker it then. Ghost. Let's test. Um, 9-2-2-10-24. And I typoed it, didn't I? Copy. Okay, see if he sees this. If I only had 2,000 stats, yeah, they'd probably win. Uh, did we fight you in Kingdom Raid or in uh, or in uh, KVK? I don't remember all the kingdoms we fought, but I know that um, we've always had bigger matches than were appropriate for my castle because Dark brought us up in power and made it so that we were getting much bigger kingdoms than I would normally get if I was playing in uh, with smaller spenders. If you, I mean, our, the thing I need is that I need from Ghost is he's got way bigger stats than me. So I want someone with huge stats. I don't know if you have huge stats. Um, so that's really what I'm after. Okay, there it is. Someone's coming. Oh, it's Maya. <laughs> She's sending tier 11s and 10s and 2s. Speed it. Speed it up. Okay, go saw it.
But honestly, I don't know when the test ever ends. But I think the next time that I'm coming in here is just to gonna it's gonna be to record for my um, my overview video. Like I need to make an actual guide for people who didn't watch any of the live stuff um, to show step by step what the event is, breaking down the research and the rules and how the towers work and how the um, large tiles work for gathering alliance resources like i've got to get all that information out there so that regular people are um ready i don't know you've got enough maybe you'll um maybe you'll get a report if not you'll be able to see the report here Plus, I need a shower. <laughs> so after these hits or after these tests, I'm going to end this um, and go take a shower and eat dinner and that type of stuff. And then uh, we'll see what's next. I don't know what my next plan is going to be. Do you have, do you have a castle on test server? Because I would welcome a hit. So, benefit details. These are my stats. Um, they're a little higher here than um, what they are on live because I upgraded every single thing I could rather than saving things for the 50% event. So, I'm a little bit larger than normal, but not by much. I think I increased it by, I don't know, 500% troop attack. Thanks, I appreciate that. On the main server, I'm not, though. <laughs> I think right now, after Kingdom Raid, I'm sitting at 1.9 billion. So, pretty big, significant change versus uh, the regular. <laughs> hey, but the, the point is that you tried. Tried to get our test in. I do need some big castle to hit me, though. There's Ghost. Yeah, 944 March cap. Yeah, there's a big, there's a big March. Here it comes. So let's see the damage here. So I took the March and I only had 16 or 618,000 loss. So let's look at the actual benefit. So my infantry wall, wait, that's his. So it killed my tier 10s and then it killed my some of my tier 12 infantry. And then it killed some of my distance. So I'm not sure why it's breaking into the distance here when the infantry are still alive, but that's okay. So the infantry wall held here. So the next attack, there won't be any tier 10s because he killed those. So if he attacks again, it'll be all the tier 12s. So the way I have this built right now, my tier 12s are my, are my meat. All of these other low tiers are all behind tier 12s. So none of these will die first. So all of my tier 12s have to die before it'll break into that. So the point of that is just having a ton of little troops that do tiny amounts of damage because that's what wrecked me in New World and made me want to try this. So it seems like some of the tiers did okay. They're getting a couple a couple thousand kills. Not too bad. And then let's look at the benefit difference. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, I wish I had those stats. So 15k troop attack and 26,000 cavalry attack. God, that's massive. I want those stats. And those guards are really good, too. I don't know.
don't know if he'll attack again because that's real troop loss for him. So the thing that's broken um, is, see here, see the amount of troops that actually died in this march? They actually lost 600,000. And that's not the right amount of troop loss because that looks like real troop loss with just um, battlefield hospital um, injuries. Mushroom status, okay. Um, but looking at, let's go into the event and you can see where we're getting the very low from. So in here, down here where it says, where I passed it, troops and hospitals. It says, there is a very low death rate for troops when fighting in alliance buildings and landmarks and when attacking other players' estates. So, you know, 60% of your march dying is not a very low death rate. Like, that's regular death rate. So I think that part's broken. Um, and hopefully they get that fixed. So they're still fighting, and I think they want to take back the middle um, when it comes up again and actually have another fight in 12 hours, but that'll be in the middle of the morning. I guess that's KV cave time, so I guess that's not much different than than regular. So mushroom status, I hope he attacks me too. I'd like some more test data, and it'd be fine if it was other people who don't need their troops. He's 1.6 billion, so that probably wouldn't do much, to be perfectly honest. Not when Ghost just sent one. But I want to see um, kind of what happens with multiple attacks, if, uh, if they even get through. Because I think after the tier 10 die, that the next one would be even better for me, rather than the attacker. So I think instead of him getting the, um, where is it? Instead of him getting 618,000 kills, I think it might be less. You have 22k stats? Well, I'm still impressed by 22k stats. And the amount of troops you have is great, like, 22 stats is enough. It, you just need the balance between stats and troops. Like, if you have enough troops, you need the stats so that they don't all die in one hit. But there's also a point, like, if you have enough troops that, you know, the stat difference still can't break through that unless you take, like, five or six hits. All right. Um, I don't know... If anybody else is going to hit me. So. I think for now. I'm about done. Anybody have any questions, comments, anything before I end it? I'll probably bubble. And then if we want to test later, I'll come on and do that. Unless um, someone else wants to attack me. But. I don't think anybody does right now. Everybody still wants their troops because the test server's not done. Uh, thanks for showing up. Like uh, You made chat fun. I appreciate everybody showing up. Um, sorry it wasn't the super mega awesome battles that I was expecting. I was really expecting to have tons of megas and ultras and other stuff going on but instead we were just building towers and trying to fight back towards the center which was not the plan all right so for now i'm going to shield and we'll see if there's any more test server action um on a different day but i think my family's had enough of me doing the test server right now why was Gun kicked by Black Swan? Um, was that from this one? Honestly, I don't know, but we kicked him from the other alliance, NWO, also, because he wanted to join. He's like, hey, guys, I want to join. And then he gets on stream and started um, 
you know, bad mouthing everybody. So they kicked him out. Like it was Paper Matthews Alliance, and he gets on there and started bad mouthing Paper Matthew and probably me for no apparent reason. But you know, it is what it is. All right, everybody. Thanks again. I appreciate uh, you showing up, uh, and I will see you in the next video or stream, um, whatever we decide to do. Oh, Matthew just got here. Just in time for everything to end, Matthew. <laughs> I'm going to go eat dinner and uh, hang out with uh, the family a bit. And there was not super exciting stuff like last time. Oh, she kicked him when he saw his streaming Alliance chat. I wasn't intentionally streaming Alliance chat. <laughs> Sorry. Oops, stop looking at it then. Um, okay, I'm out.